Okay, so in 2.2, we're going to have three or four types of graphs. Histograms, frequency polygons, and OGIVs or OGIVs. The name varies depending on whom you ask. Now, there's also the relative frequency ones, but they're exactly the same shape as the frequency polygon, except instead of having the count as being your Y value, it's the count divided by the total to give you a percentage that gives you the Y value. All right, I'm jumping a little bit ahead. For each type of graph, you need to have two inputs in the calculator. You need an X list and a Y list. Now, normally, whatever we enter, we're going to enter in the X list into L1 and the Y list into L2 on our calculator. But it really doesn't matter what it gets assigned to, as long as you remember which is which. Now, the X list is just going to be an indicator of where you are. So think of it as being the midpoint of your class list. It could also be the start of your classes or the end of your classes, depending on how you want to count it. Again, refer to an earlier video where I was talking about birthdays versus using the midpoint. Now, the book exclusively uses midpoint, so that's why I wrote it down here. The Y list is always going to be your count, or it's going to be your frequency. Now, on all of these, I'm going to make a video of each of the graphs back to back with set data. So I just want to get through the definitions. The histogram is going to be a bunch of boxes, and they're all going to touch. The frequency polygon is going to be an X value and a Y value. You then connect the dots. And the OGIV is the same as the frequency, except you're doing a running total of what you have. You're going to use the cumulative frequency as opposed to the frequency for each of the classes. Now, on all three of these, the classes are going to be your X list.